Jane, <laughs> you think that parents should ask their children's consent when they are babies to change their nappy. Is this not sexualizing the interaction between a parent and child? Because um, actually, yeah. it's just a parent's job to change a nappy, isn't it? It's just a normal, natural, innocent thing. I, I'm very confused about how this would become a sexual issue. So, for example... Because you're talking about consent, which is implying but, but that parents is, are doing something no, no, which no, no, is no. non-consensual. There's nothing sexual about consent. If I was to say, oh, Suzanne, it's really lovely to meet you, I would love to give you a hug, mm. I would wait for you to communicate with me because whether that's two about... adults... Well, it's even a... more important to do it with a baby. You're building a but baby's baby can't brain. Respond and also... you had... It's not sexual, but it is stupid. The baby can't respond. Yeah, it's definitely not sexualised, but I'll be honest with you. My brain, yeah, cannot comprehend what this woman is saying and the concept behind it because it just makes zero sense a baby doesn't know how to eat how to speak how to walk how to do anything it needs this nappy changed for health reasons as well how are you going to say a baby needs to give you consent to change its nappy it makes zero sense like you can't even try and explain or justify that because it makes no sense i've got more to say but i want to let her say what she's saying first before i say what i have to say are you gonna are you gonna ask a baby for consent to feed it or are you just gonna let it wither and die are you just going to let it sit in shit because you feel like it hasn't given you consent because it hasn't said, wow, wow. Yeah, where did you get off with this stupid idea? What is wrong with people today? The baby can't talk. You're not building any trust. The trust that the baby will get is from you doing what you need to do as a parent to look after it and protect it. That is all you need to do. Mate. You don't need to ask a bloody baby to, what is happening. This is not even one of these like young girls yeah. with these stupid new ideas. This is an old lady. Michael, the baby's brain isn't even fully formed yet. Neither you does. Don't, you, don't <laughs> you don't remember anything from your childhood. Maybe some people from the age of about four, you might start remembering small little things, but not everything. Not until you're at least six or seven, you start actually remembering things, right? So how is a baby even expected to know how to give consent? Or how can you be like, yeah, this is the baby giving me consent because it wriggled a little bit? Are you crazy? God forbid that you have children. God help those children. If you are asking a kid for consent, that jo, let's, let's let her continue her rambles because I'm sure this is going to go even but further off the deep end. consent for what though? To change it snappy that it needs changing as a baby. You being the parent having to look after the kid, change it snappy, wash it, feed it and help it grow old and learn things. You're you actually saying it needs consent. She said it's about building a relationship and about building trust. So does that mean that if the baby gives you some sort of look where it's like, ah, don't want you to touch me, that you're not going to do it? That you're going to leave it sitting in its shit and getting a sore bum? Yeah, because then if you do do it, you're going against the baby's lack of consent, right? So then you're not building trust in it. But then if you don't do it, then you're harming the baby. You're just creating a problem. That there, does, there doesn't need to be a problem here. The baby's going to grow up with fucking hate towards you. The, these people need to be thrown in jail. <laughs> you've have, you, have you got kids? Of course. I've worked how many, with how many children. Have you got? I've got one and I've fostered and I've Talk been a child Talk me through the conversation you had with your three-month-old baby about consent. How did they go? It, it, it would have gone. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. What? He said, talk me through the conversation you've had with your baby about consent. Her response was, it would have gone, which means she hasn't even done it herself. She's just making this up now. Yeah, I didn't even pick up on that. Yeah, she's stupid than she looks. Karen hairstyle. I just need to change your nappy now yeah. to make you comfortable. And your three-month-old baby said what in response? Of course, we would know that a three-month-old baby can't speak. So Babies communicate. Mm. All the time. How, how did your Not... baby tell you that it was giving consent? A boy or girl? A boy. Or gender fluid? Which one? A boy. A boy. So how did your little boy, aged three months, communicate to you that it was OK to change his nappy? It's, it's not the OK, it's the respect. How do they give consent? Well, that you can see in a body, in, in the body energy of any so, so human what would it, being. It, talk me through it. Look, I feel like she can't even really answer Piers properly here. She's literally, every time we ask a question, it's more like... Well, okay. If she's given one of them ones and it's like, bitch, if you know your answer, say your answer, do you know what I mean? It's ridiculous just what she's saying. The whole concept is ridiculous. The baby's body language. The baby doesn't even know how to talk. The baby doesn't know body language. A These... child doesn't even know body language. 
Give this woman the award for the stupidest person on Good Morning Britain. Show me what he would well, do. Well, if, if a baby um, is upset, yeah. then you will see tension, a body arch, Jane, something like that. Jane, plenty of babies don't like it when you change their nappy. I mean, we've all, as parents, had to change the nappy yeah, of a of child course. who doesn't... Of but course. The, but it, you, you have to override that for exactly. the hygiene it's, and it's safety not, of the of baby. Course not do, changing the nappy is abusive. Of course, and nobody would leave a, a baby in a dirty nappy. Did your, did your, did your son ever say no to you? It's introducing the idea that I respect you as a human being, so there's going to be a momentary Right. Acknowledgement of I'm sorry, but changing the baby's nappy already shows an element of respect and care and compassion. Okay, Just and lock her up. asking, I can't even get my words out. Wanting a child, a baby, a three-month-old baby, to give consent is not anything to do with respect. Zero. It is. It is just one of them things where it's like that. You do just have no words, but I just feel on a rampage about it because it's just so ridiculous and bizarre and I think it's stupid and I don't feel like anyone should be listening to this woman and feeling like they should be implementing what she's saying. If there's a social worker out there listening to this, please find this woman. Those children are in danger. I see you and you matter. Did you ever not change your... Did you ever not, not change your... If you were an adult okay. and you were immobile, immobile and non-verbal and Got somebody it. had to touch you and clean you, you would like somebody to say... The, the whole point of cleaning those kinds of people up looking after old people that can't really do it for themselves anymore is that they can't do it for themselves what are you talking about here like piers is saying as well like as an adult you can still communicate anyway a yeah. baby can't communicate a baby can't say please change my nappy no but please she don't said, change my nappy i want to sit in this shit she said if you're immobile right? yeah but immobile just means you can't move or walk it doesn't mean you can't talk yeah but the, she's obviously referencing people that are in like care homes mm. that you need to clean up someone that is being looked after if you're in that system you're in that system for a reason caring for them is cleaning them up i'm i am i am i'm so confused Adults who can Piers, communicate. is it okay if i touch you now right, let me bring in, in let me bring in hillary look this sounds completely nuts to me yeah, right I'd... no baby age three months old can possibly communicate anything about having a nappy change and if you don't change your nappy because it doesn't give you consent because it wobb wobbles its head in a certain way then that is i'm afraid abusive parenting exactly. you can't leave a baby in a dirty nappy and the, the thing is consent children can't give consent that's why they we have an, no that's why we have an age of consent because children under the age of 16 can't consent so we have to as responsible parents i'm sorry but your parent changing your nappy when you're a newborn does not in any way demonstrate Number one, that their body doesn't belong to them. And number two, as they get older, they're not even going to remember anything from three months old to know that you're demonstrating that their body belongs to them. Like, it makes no sense. If you wanted to do this as they get older, when they can understand things, that's your choice. The lady. It's still ridiculous, but it's your choice. But as a three month old who's not going to remember this and doesn't know anything, it's ridiculous. The whole concept is ridiculous. The lady hit the nail on the head, though. We have an age of consent yeah. for a reason. This conversation didn't need to go any further than that. This woman is clearly an abusive parent and she's clearly delusional. She's deluded. She's absolutely delusional. I don't know where she got this stupid idea from. I don't know if there's a group of people out there that think that this is how you raise a child. Three month old babies can give consent for anything. If you think that, God help you. But the concept behind it of a nappy change is just ridiculous. Yeah, like, it's just mad. We have to decide for them what's good for them. And as, as good a parents, responsible parent, you want to raise your child to know that their body belongs to them. Mm -hmm. Think of the NSPCC pants campaign. Yes. It all hinges right, okay. on. So let's take, okay. okay. All right, all right. So, Jane, Jane, just to clarify, because viewers will be watching this going, how do I do this with my three-month-old mm. baby? What are the signs they should look for of a baby not giving consent for its nappy to be changed? So, so you know, it, it's just looking for that moment of respect. What, what is that moment? Offer. Show me, what, what does a baby so do? So, for a baby, there'll be a tiny relaxation. We Come here, dirty nappy, boom, change, new nappy. Your way is, so I'm going to be the... Just a millisecond I'm going to be the father here. You're one of my children for a moment, OK? So you're three months old, you don't speak a word of anything, you just gurgle, you break wind, you I'm defecate and you eat, right? I'm communicating with you non-verbally all the time, yes. OK. I would like to change your nappy. <laughs> oh, you're... Oh, fuck this woman, man. <laughs> this fuck makes her, no sense because she's saying... So I've asked the baby, three-month-old baby, can I change your nappy? And the baby's relaxed. Like, say, the baby understands what I've just asked it. Yeah. She's mad. 
She's clearly mad. She she has lost the plot. Oh, your shoulders slump. Yes, that's well, a relaxation. So, so if the baby's shoulders slump, well, it is refusing ways. consent. So no, what no, do... no, no, that was giving. Are you giving I, consent? That, I'm no, sorry. No, no. All, all I'm looking for sorry, is Sorry, I've got it wrong. So the signal... The yeah, shoulders... that's a bit of a worry, isn't so it? So the shoulder <laughs> sloping is consent. Well, it may be in one baby. I would every human being. You mean being, another baby? It might be the opposite. How do we know? All you're doing is you're How tuning. How do I know as a parent? You're tuning, whether it's giving me consent or because not? Because you tune into your baby from birth onwards. Right. If you're not on your phone all the time. Okay. So. What, um, and it, you read your if that baby. That was consent. You read what would be cries, the what would be read. the sign for not not giving consent from a three month well, old? Well, this is this this is what I can't wrap my head around. So let's say your baby's tensed his shoulders, so it's not giving you consent that you've just made up in your own head. You're telling me you're literally just going to leave the baby in a dirty nappy to get a rash or whatever else and be uncomfortable just because you think that tense shoulders means no consent. You've made that up. You've yeah. actually made that up. I've never heard so much nonsense in all my life. I know I say that a lot on this channel, but this is really taking the piss. Honestly, it is. This is new age stupid. As it would in an adult, it would be a more of a tension. Tension. So just pause. It's not to. Of course, we have to change babies' nappies. That would be lunacy to right. expect. Not, but the problem know, being that some babies, a, a shoulder safe. shrug could be yes, others it could be no. You know your baby. And the tensing could be yes or no as well. Yeah, Quite it's confusing, the joy it? of being a parent that you learn your baby to as, as your and baby if grows. If your baby doesn't give consent with its with its tension, and it's one of the babies where the tension means no, not yes, even though it can be yes. You learn not your no. own baby. What do you do? Do you leave? your baby to rot in its nappy. I've made that very it's... clear that you would never do that. So what would you do? You just wait for a moment. What if it's like three days? But a, a baby that's just of three ridiculous. months isn't that's aware. Oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So that part of our conversation is ridiculous. Well, uh, leaving okay. a baby Hillary, in a... Hillary, I, just, I mean, this to me is the stuff of utter insanity. What is going on in the world where we are even... Safeguarding children. Yeah. But it's no, not but about safeguarding okay, children. Okay. Hillary, there is a serious issue here, yeah. which is that we are trying to deal with children. The serious issue here is her brain cells. Yeah, like, her appearing on Good Morning Britain should have been enough for the police to put this woman on an FBI watch list. I don't even know what to say. Children can't it's consent, bizarre. period. Ki children can't consent, period. That's it. And please change your three-month-old baby's nappy. For anyone out there that is listening to this, if you have a kid, I know this might sound ridiculous coming from me because I don't have kids, but you must be able to ex exercise some rational thought here. That was objectively some of the most stupid bullshit i've ever heard in my life i have never seen so much nonsense fly from one person's mouth in such a short space of time children can't give consent three month old babies don't know what the hell you're doing they might react to shapes and sounds and they might laugh and giggle and cry but they don't know what you're talking three about months old, they don't even really do that though they I, just stare at everything yeah they're, they're three months nothing that is three months old really gets it cancel this woman <laughs> cancel her she's done honestly what an imbecile.